Hello, eighth graders. My name is Susan Anichantic, and I will be your teacher today. The topic of today's lesson are idioms with nature words. I hope you enjoy it. During and after the lesson, you will be able to make dialogues using the nature idioms. For this lesson, you will need internet access, a laptop, tablet or a mobile phone, a notebook and a pencil, and a QR reader. Every year on the 22nd of April, people around the world celebrate Earth Day. Now, I think that Earth definitely deserves to have a day. What do you think? I'm sure you agree with me. After all, every mother deserves a day, right? And we do call Earth Mother Earth. Now, I would like you now to watch a video. So if you follow this link or scan the code, you can watch uh, an interesting video and then come back. So you can stop this video and follow the link. See you later. And we're back. What do you say? Are you impressed? Did you like it? Are you in awe? I know I was when I first saw it. Mother Earth, or better yet, Mother Nature is really breathtaking, wouldn't you say? Okay, let's move on now. I would like you to do a little task, so please follow the link or scan the code and do the task concerning the video that you've just seen. After watching Julia Roberts speak for nature, I have two questions for you. The first one is, does nature need people? Uh, the obvious answer is, of course, no. But do people need nature? Also the obvious answer, yes. No matter what we do to it, nature always finds a way to regenerate. Yes, we absolutely need nature. There is no life without it, or better yet, without her. She is so important that we even use her in a language. Take a look at this picture. A man beating a bush. Read the phrase. Beat about the bush. Do you have any idea what it means? Is it really taking a bat and hitting a bush? No, of course not. It is an idiom. An idiom is a nonsensical sentence that has a completely different meaning than the words it is made of. And this precise idiom means... What do you think? Mm -hmm. Avoid talking about a difficult or embarrassing subject. Speak indirectly. Or how would you translate it into Croatian? Yes, okolishati. Now, can you try and use this idiom in a sentence of your own? I'll give you a few seconds. Beat about the bush. Use it in a sentence. And here is my example. Please don't beat about the bush, but come straight to the heart of the problem. Our planet needs help. Take a look at these beautiful pictures of nature. Can you name them? Let's play and see. Please follow this link or scan the code and play the game. It will help you remember or learn some nature words. Now that you've revised the words or learned them, let's try to use them in idioms. Take a look at the sentences and the pictures. Which word comes here? To bark up the wrong tree. 
not to see the m mm, for the trees. Woods. Yes. To nip something in the bud. To offer an olive branch. To hit the hay. To have green fingers or a thumb. To come up, look at this beautiful picture. To come up, roses. To turn over a new leaf, yes. The is always greener on the other side. Grass. As fresh as a daisy. A needle in a haystack. A late bloomer. A thorn in your side. And the last one. A shrinking violet. I'm sure you did this task really well. Now, let's see how well you understand the meaning of different idioms. Follow this link or scan the code and play the game. Great, you've learned the idioms in English. Let's find their Croatian equivalents now. You do remember that we normally do not translate idioms word for word. They wouldn't make any sense. We can translate literally some of them to Croatian, but not all of them. Therefore, a needle in a haystack is translated literally, igla u plastu siena. However, as fresh as a daisy means nothing in Croatian if you translate the phrase literally. In Croatian we say, svjež kao rosa. It's your turn now. Follow the link or scan the code and play the game. Now that we've learned the Croatian version of some English nature idioms, it's time to use them in context, in a sentence. So, follow the link or scan the code and see how well you can use English nature idioms. It's your turn now to be creative. I would like you to choose six idioms and make dialogues. Here is an example. Look at David. He's as fresh as a daisy. Yes, isn't he? He's just returned from his holidays on Hawaii. So you will have to stop the video now, take your notebooks and write down your six dialogues. When you finish, Take a look at the table and check if you have included all the necessary elements in your dialogues. So check if there is an idiom in every dialogue, if the context of a dialogue makes the idiom easy to understand, and see if you have any spelling or punctuation mistakes. Remember Julia Roberts from the beginning of our lesson, uh, giving her voice to Mother Nature? Well, other celebrities wanted to have a go as well. They liked it. So they gave their voices to different elements of nature. And it's quite amazing, I have to tell you. So if you visit the page on the screen or scan the code, you will see who speaks for which element or force of nature. You can stop the video now, watch the videos and come back. And if you're back, there is a task for you. Visit the link or scan the code and do the task. Would you like to know what force of nature you are? Then follow this link or scan the code and do the quiz. To get to the quiz, you have to scroll down a bit because it is somewhere at the bottom of the page. Also, 
you will have to write your email address to get the results of the quiz. So you can use your edscholar.hr address. Have fun. And we have come to the end of our lesson today. It's time to reflect what you have learned from it. Think about it and write down what stuck with you from today's lesson. I hope you've enjoyed our time together and that you've learned something new and useful. Thank you and goodbye.